Hello friends, this video on organisms and population part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So the next growth model that we will discuss is the logistic growth. So when we discussed about exponential growth, we said that when the resources are unlimited, then exponential growth happens. But what is the reality? In reality, the resources are not unlimited, but they are very much limited. So we have limited resources, but there are a lot of organisms who want to survive. So there exists a competition between various organisms for their survival. And as we all know, who survives? The fittest survives. So as you can look at this picture, what it tries to show is a lot of kids are there in a party. And in the party, you have a lot of stuffs like you have uh, a lot of eatables, you have cold drinks, juices, so many things, chocolates and all. Now, everything is just lying at one place and now it depends on you. If you want to grab them, you will have to be powerful and grab them all. So you can see a couple of kids here, for example, this guy, he has a lot of stuffs with him. Look at this girl, she has again a lot of stuffs with her. A lot of them doesn't have anything. So maybe the ones who are powerful enough to grab the stuffs could get them. Those who couldn't did not get them. So that's what happens in the reality also, where you have, where the powerful ones or the fittest one survive. So this, when we talk about limited resources, there can be no exponential growth. So the type of growth that happens with limited resources is called logistic growth. So when we talk about logistic growth, it becomes very important to know about carrying capacity. What is the meaning of carrying capacity? Now, the maximum number of organisms that a habitat can support based on its resources. Now, as the resources are limited, so the habitat can support a limited number of organisms. So the maximum number of organisms that can be supported is called the carrying capacity of that habitat. So once the carrying capacity of a habitat is reached, the population cannot grow any further. So let's look at the same example of the kids party. Now let's say that the food and beverages that were arranged were enough only for 30 kids. And let's say 30 kids were already there. Now if 20 more kids are sent to the party, what's going to happen? Now these extra 20 kids are also hungry. They also want the chips. They also want the snacks and beverages and everything. But when they enter inside the party, they find that all the eatables have already been used. So basically they will still remain hungry. So they will not be able to join the party because their resources are not enough to support these extra 20 kids. So the party has reached its carrying capacity. So that's the same scenario with a habitat. So any habitat which has limited resources, it has a specific carrying capacity. And beyond that carrying capacity, it cannot support more individuals. So when we talk about logistic growth, this is how growth happens. So here you see instead of the exponential growth where the population keeps increasing with time, here the population increases with time but it reaches a stage beyond which the population doesn't increase any further. And this phase is termed as the carrying capacity. So the point beyond which the population is not increasing, it is remaining steady, that point is termed as the carrying capacity. That means the habitat has reached its carrying capacity beyond which it can, the population cannot increase any further. So when you look at the plot of the logistic growth, you see that there are three important phases in logistic growth. Lag phase, log phase and stationary phase. So let us talk about each of them. So we will start with lag phase. So lag phase is that phase which denotes slow growth in the population. So looking at the graph, you can see that as time is increasing, population is also increasing slowly. So it is the phase of slow growth. So even before we talk about each of these phases, so it will be helpful if we talk about the mathematical description of logistic growth. Now in case of exponential growth, how did we define it mathematically? We said dn by dt is equal to r into n. So that is how we defined exponential growth. But here the additional factor that has come into picture is the carrying capacity. Right? Because due to the carrying capacity only the growth is not happening exponentially. So the another factor which gets added in this equation is k minus n divided by k 
where k is the carrying capacity of a population. So this is the carrying capacity. So this equation actually denotes the logistic growth. Based on this equation, we get this type of a sigmoid curve. So basically this defines, so here k minus n, it denotes how many organisms may be added to a population at a given stage. And when you talk about the entire fraction that is k minus n by k, it denotes the fraction of carrying capacity that is available for future growth. So that's the mathematical expression of logistic growth. So looking at this expression, let us see what happens during the lag phase. So during the lag phase, the value of n is small because n is this value on the y-axis. So in the lag phase, the value of n is small. Right? Now since n is small, looking at this equation, you can see that dn by dt is very strongly dependent on n. So if n is small, then dn by dt will also be small. However, it would increase, but dn by dt value as such will remain small. It will increase slowly and that is why it is the phase of slow growth because dn by dt is increasing slowly, slowly. The next is the log phase. In log phase, if you look at the, the graph, you see that the increase is very fast. Why is that? Because as with as the time passes by, the value of n is increasing. Now, as n increases, so n increases in the log phase. So as n increases, what happens? dn by dt also increases. Now, dn by dt increases means the growth is rapid now. More value of dn by dt means rapid growth, correct? So we see in this case that there is rapid growth. Now note one thing that in both lag phase as well as log phase, in both these cases, n is less than k because the value of n is increasing with time but it is still less than k. k is reached somewhere here because after that point k, that is after the carrying capacity, the population hasn't reduced. So at both these stages, the lag phase as well as the log phase, the value of n is less than k and therefore there is a scope of increase in the population. That is why the population is increasing. But when we reach the stationary phase, what happens is that n becomes equal to k. That is the population density becomes equal to the carrying capacity. Now since the carrying capacity is re reached, population growth rate decreases. Population doesn't increase any further. Now if you put n is equal to k in this equation, what happens? This becomes 0, so the entire right hand side becomes 0. So dn by dt becomes equal to 0, which tells us nothing but a constant population. And you can see the same thing in the graph also that it becomes stationary. The population doesn't increase any further even though the time increases. So these are the three phases of logistic growth. So I hope it makes sense to you that why do we have lag phase followed by log phase which in turn is followed by the stationary phase. So let us quickly have an interpretation of the logistic growth equation. So as discussed before, when we have the lag phase, so in the lag phase, n is less than k and also n is very small. Now since n is very small, therefore dn by dt is also quite small and therefore this is the phase of slow growth. The next phase is log phase. And what happens in log phase here also n is less than k but the value of n is more. So n increases during this phase. Therefore dn by dt also increases. Now when dn by dt increases this, this means rapid growth. Now the value of n keeps on increasing and finally it reaches a stage where the value of n becomes equal to k. So in the stationary phase n is equal to k therefore dn by dt becomes equal to 0 and therefore we have a constant population here or a stationary phase. So these are the interpretation of the logistic growth equation. Now, had, if you try to compare the logistic growth curve with that of the exponential growth, you see that the initial phases remain the same. It is just that after the log phase, in case of exponential growth, it keeps increasing like this. 
because there is no concept of carrying capacity in case of exponential growth because there the resources are unlimited so this growth will continue with time so that's how you can compare logistic growth with exponential growth thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates Thank you once again.